<clears throat> Welcome to another episode of the Hardway Garage. This is a uh, North edition and something a little different today. Not working on a car, so this might not interest some of you, but I figured it was kind of neat. Um, I'm making a Swedish fire log here. I already started it, kind of cut the center out. It's a little off center on the bottom, but the top's pretty good. You might have seen these. The idea is you cut the hole out of the center, start a fire in the center, and then uh, it kind of burns from the inside out for a while. It's pretty cool. You can buy these. They're, I don't know, 35 or 40 bucks a log, but if you have logs in 10 minutes of time, it's pretty easy to do. Um, I split it with just a splitting maul, put a ratchet strap around it, try to keep it together. You can see the bottom, I've already got strapped up, but I thought this was kind of a cool opportunity to show you this little tool. Um, I stole this idea from this guy on YouTube called Advoco Makes, I think is his name. I'll try to spell it maybe in the, in the caption or description or something, but uh, it's a wire cinch tool. It's pretty neat. It's got two little holes uh, drilled in it right here on a handle, a little notch cut in it, and it basically allows you to create a wire clamp with mechanics wire or baling wire, anything like that. And it's super tight and it's really easy to use. So I figured I'd do a really quick video just mainly on this tool. Um, I made this, took me like an hour maybe, and a bunch of that was like polishing. I took a really piece of crappy old scrap that I pulled out of my mom's farmyard when she bought it, like bought a property about 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago. And uh, just some other random material I had laying around. So minimal, Minimal effort to create, and uh, it's pretty neat when you need it. But uh, it could be used to make like radiator hose clamps in a pinch if you didn't have one in the shop, or you know, lots of different options. So uh, take a look here. Got some dikes and some mechanics wire. So you have to double the wire up. So you kind of have to go around two times. So I'm gonna start it there, work my way around, and we should be good. I'm gonna overlap maybe 25% of the log just to have a little bit of extra and not waste a ton. Snip that off, set it aside, straighten out your wire, loop it back on itself, pull it kind of tight and even with the ends, and just basically run it right around the log. I try to keep the wire separate and just kind of do one of these like this. You want to keep these ends fairly straight. And then as you might've been able to see, there's two holes drilled in this round piece. And then this T serves as a handle. Um, so it looks like I might not have left quite enough for myself. So I'm gonna try to squeeze my wires together. Okay, so just enough, barely. Um, so I got some wire poking through, might be able to see over here. And then the idea, you just start twisting on this handle and you notice the little notch is on the loop right there. And what this does is this draws it really, really tight. Um, the more you cinch, the tighter it goes. I have broken the mechanics wire before, so you do have to be careful of that. But you get it nice and tight. Got about a half a wrap around, simply take it, fold this over, and that's where you get a lot of your tension from. And then with this extra tail here, nip the bottom, nip the top, and then I usually just take these depending on what I'm doing. You can fold them, you can wrap them, you can tuck them, you can loop them around each other. But at this point, you should have Pretty good. The fire log ready to go. So nice and tight. As it burns, obviously, you'll have to you know, kind of hold it together. I can sometimes bring the wires together. But this is ready to stuff some paper and some kindling on the bottom. And we'll have a fire for a couple hours here, probably. Should be pretty nice. Again, not your average hardway garage. Figured we'd make this one a short. And uh, again, Swedish fire log. Simple DIY. Uh, if you have the log and dikes, one of these little tools or a similar tool, a little mechanics wire, it's a little cheaper than buying one from the store. Um, and more fun, I think, when you do it yourself. So 
So this is a little bit later. Got a fire going on this thing. You can see it runs pretty good. I did modify it a little. I had it too tight, so I did put a couple three-quarter inch holes in it. Normally, I think if you leave a little bit more room in these cracks, it breathes really good, but nice little fire, a little kindling inside. Our little clamps here, holding nice and tight. 